माय नेम इज विराज गुप्ता ऑफ क्लास सिक्स ए इन सतपाल मित्रल स्कूल इन लुधियाना दिस इज एन एग्रीकल्चरल सोलर रोबोट इट इज अ प्रोटोटाइप एंड आई एम नेम्ड इट एज कृषि बोट It is a multifunctional robot which performs the various steps of farming in the agricultural field, like checking the soil moisture level, plowing the fields, sowing the seeds, adding fertilizers, and harvesting. Thus, it reduces human power, effort, and time. My project has been approved by India Book of Records 22, and I also met the Vice Chancellor of Punjab Agricultural University. You might be knowing that it is a huge and large university in Ludhiana, which is known for the agricultural researches. <clears throat> So now I'll be explaining you about my project. So this is the soil moisture sensor. These are the two electrodes. When these electrodes dip down in the soil, they check the water content level of the soil. They are based on the principle of more the water content level, less will be the resistance, and good will be the signal. They send the signal to the ESP32 microcontroller, which is an MCU module, which converts the electrical signal to the analog signal, or you can say the digital signal. and that signal can be forwarded to the uh, farmer smartphone next is this robotic plower arm this arm can be used for plowing the fields after checking the moisture level and plowing the fields we then come on to sow the seeds this is an automated dispenser in which i have placed a dc motor which will help us to uh, sow the seeds this is the fertilizer box in which i have placed a dc pump which will help us to spray fertilizers to our crops for a better yield after after the crop is ready we can harvest it through the harvester the harvester consists of propeller blades attached to the robot which will make harvesting easy i've also added this surveillance camera which will help us to analyze and monitor the surroundings i uh, this uh, the project is uh, solar power that is it runs on a solar uh, solar panel but i've also added the battery for the power back now coming on to the best part the control of the device the uh, the project can be controlled from a smartphone we do not need any special computer operated system or any remote control for its functioning we have created the browser web page which is password protected and when we put in the ip address we can uh, perform the various functions thank you